Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick update of my project pan. Um, so let's just jump right into it. I think it might be a few days earlier, maybe even a week earlier than I usually do. So there's still a lot of progress, but there's a few things that were really close to being finished that I didn't get the chance to finish. Um, but yeah, those will be definitely done next month. So let's just get into it. So the first thing that I finished was the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I really like this. There was barely anything left in here. So this was done in like a week, maybe two weeks. Um, I'll definitely repurchase the Urban Decay ones. I have one more that I have, but when it's gone, when that one's gone, I'll definitely repurchase them because they're my favorite. Next, I used up the Becca Powder. This is the Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in Porcelain. And this is completely done. There was not much left in there um, last update. But yeah, it is done. I'm going to keep this compact for like repressing stuff because it's a nice one. Um, yeah. So the next thing I finished was um, my cream single eyeshadow. That's just like staining at the bottom of the pan. So this is done. There wasn't a ton left in here, so I knew this was going to be done, but still, still really exciting to have another eyeshadow gone. And the last thing that I used up is my eyebrow pencil, and this is the Winky Lux eyebrow pencil. There's nothing left in here. Um, I really like this. I, if it's on the BoxyCharm website where I can use points to get it. I will definitely get it. Um, but other than that, I have a ton of eyebrow stuff. Eyebrow pencils right now that I really want to go through. But I did really, really like this. And then the last thing that I'm going to declutter is the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Medium. I used this again and it worked out fine. The color is just way too dark. But other than that, it's a pretty good product. So I'm going to see um, if my cousin wants this because she has darker hair. And I need to get mine done because it's not usually this dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was still too dark even with my dark roots. And I did use up one more thing, but it's in my palette. So we'll get to that at the end. Okay, let's see. I guess let's just go in order of how I put them on my face. So first I have the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer and there's probably like one use left in this. Um, I used this today and it was kind of annoying because it didn't be finish but I wasn't going to put like a ton on my face just because I wanted it gone. So this will probably be gone tomorrow. Um, but that will give us something to talk about next month. Um, and then I also have the Josie Moran Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. I've been using this as a primer too on days where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. And I've used it a few times. Not a ton. But when the Cover Effects one is done, I will use just this. So, there's not much left in there. That'll be gone by next update. Let's see... Next, I have my foundation. This is the Cover FX Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. And so this is where we are now. We started it and it was up to all the way to the white. Then that was the first update. And now we are here. So definitely steady progress. It's about the same. But um, I'm actually going to roll this out because it doesn't match me anymore. Um, I think I got great use. I used almost half of it. Um, but I'm just going to put this back in my collection and probably come back to it next winter. Next is my cream highlighter. And this I rolled in last month. This was my random product that I rolled in. And this is how much we have left. And here it is against the paper, by the paper. Yeah, so we used almost half of it, 
so that's where we are now. Um, this won't be done next month. I'm going to, once I've flattened it off completely, I'm going to dig down into it because I do really like this. Um, yeah. I'm not going to roll in another random product because, um, honestly, I forgot to do that and I film on my phone. Um, but we're just going to keep working on this one and then when this is done, I'll roll in a new random product with my random number generator. Let's see, powder. I have the Almay Smart Shade Powder and here is where we are. Um, you probably won't be able to tell. Well, first of all, there's a ton of hard pan at the bottom right here, which I just haven't gotten around to scraping it. Um, I take an eyebrow brush and just kind of scrape the top off and then I still use that powder. Um, I just use it as a loose powder. But I have up on the top, like white part up here, there's a big dent. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Hopefully I can hit pan on this next month. I don't know how deep it goes, so we'll see. We're just going to keep using it. It's okay. It's not anything outstanding, but it's a powder. So this is the e.l.f. All Over Color Stick in spotlight and it's completely flat so on my little markings it's all the way down to the bottom and I started digging it out um, it's like way too light for me now I was using this a lot with um, the NARS concealer that I had because that was too dark so this evened it out but now um, I'm not currently working on anything that's too dark so, in order to get progress on this, I have to pull for something else that's too dark to get products on this. But, I'm going to keep working on this. Um, yeah, hopefully I can have this done, or almost done, next time. And, also, I have the Bosca, Boschia, Boschia, um, all-in-one BB Eye Brightener. Um, I can't show progress on this, but I've used it. A handful, a handful of times, um, probably less than 10 times, but um, I started mixing this in with this foundation um, until I got even more darker. Um, but yeah, I like this. It's alright. I'm going to probably take that on vacation with me and just use it all over the face for when I don't want to use my foundation. Next, I have the Princessa Opalescent Pink Eyeshadow Base. There's a little swatch of it. It is just like pink and then like a white pink. And yeah, this is almost done. I did roll it up to check, um, but it's really hard to get back down. So I'm not going to do that now, but there was like a centimeter left last time I checked. So this will be done next month. I have the Chella Eyeliner in Indigo Blue. I've been using this I've, um, quite a bit, and I have it on today, like just ever so slightly. Um, it's alright, it's almost dead. This will be dead by next month. And then I also have, this is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Sin, and that is where we are now. And it is like pretty flat. And it's hard to get in there. So I'm going to repress this. So this will look different next month. Um, hopefully I'm going to repress this. And then hopefully I can hit pan on it again. There's not much left in here. So hopefully after I repress it it can go faster. I have my Avon Glimmer Stick Eyeliner in Golden Diamond. And that is all I have left. I have been using this a ton. So this is right here. Um, yeah, the blue is where we are now. So I've been using this on my lower lash line pretty much every single day that I remember. And I think that this will be done next month. Either done or almost done. Alright, more eyeliner. I have the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. And that is all that is left of this one. So I've been using this every day. It's 
a little dry so it doesn't show up that well but there's where we are so I've used pretty much half of it so hopefully this can be done next time I'm gonna keep working on this I use this every day in my waterline which it's pretty hard to get in my waterline because it is dry so it's more like a lash line let's see mascaras I still have these three mascaras that I'm working on I've pretty much only been using the Urban Decay Perversion. Um, this is like one of my favorites and it is almost done. So this will most likely be done next time. And then I used the Benefit There Real a few times. Um, but when the perversion's done, I'm going to switch my focus to this one. And then I've also used the Lan Lancome one just a few times. This is just, it's too hard to use consistently because it like breaks my lashes off. But I'm going to try to still get more use out of this. My eyelash primer. Still going strong. I used this a few times. I just keep forgetting. Let's do lip products. So my Clinique Balm in Black Honey. That is all that is left. And let's see. It is this one right here. So there's not much left at all that should definitely be done next month I am going on vacation for a week um, next week actually and I'm not bringing a lot of this stuff so we'll see if that hinders my progress I have the bite beauty lipstick in fig there's where we are there let me roll the plastic down so there's that without the plastic. I've used this a few times. It's just really bright and I... It's like... Gross, obviously. So it's hard to reapply throughout the day. But, let's see. There's where we are now. So we used it more this month. There's still... Hopefully this is done. But I'm not sure. Hopefully it's done. Because I want to get a new lip product in this project. Alright, my Primrose Marc Jacobs lip liner, I've used it a few times. Barely any progress on there though. Um, yeah, so we're just going to keep going with it. Let's see. This is my Lack & Co. Little Lip. And it's in this hot pink color. I've used this a few times, but not enough to show any progress on the paper. So we're just going to keep working on that guy. I used the Becca Lip Priming Perfector just the couple times that I used the hot pink lipstick. So no visible progress. And the Hourglass Lip Gloss in Child. Um, it's been laying like this. So you can kind of see there is like spacing in there but not a ton hopefully I can get more use on that guy okay let's get into my palette so here's a nice little overview and so first right off the bat I finished the black gel liner um, so that is how I've been getting more use out of the blue. So I switched to the blue when I finished the black. Um, let's take this out. This is the white eyeshadow I've been using since I finished the cream. And you're probably not going to be able to tell. But <laughs> you're not going to be able to tell. Um... So this is like the same size as my brush, so it uses it completely flat. Oh, it just smashed. Hmm. Okay. Well, it just kind of smashed in there when I put it back, so we will repress that in there. Yay. Okay. Moving on. My bronzer. Try not to dump the white powder everywhere. 
Um, as you know, as you can tell, I hit side pan, major side pan. Part of it did break off and flew across the room, and I couldn't find it, so... Yeah, but I did hit side pan, and then, like, a tiny little chunk broke off. There's that, and it is pretty flat all the way across, so I'm going to definitely repress that one, so that'll look different next time. The blush, I've got major progress on. I've been working down on the bottom half. Um, as of right now, I'm not going to repress this, um, because it is really soft, so it's still easy to pick up on my brush. Um, let's see. This is the crease color. Got some good progress on there. I've definitely expanded the pan. I'm not going to repress this yet, because there's still quite a bit on the corners that I can get to. Um, and then the highlighter. Yay, I hit pan on this one. Pretty big pan, honestly. So, we're just going to keep working on this, and I don't think it'll be used up by next time, but definitely more pan. So, that is everything in my palette. And then, just a few new things that I'm rolling in. So, when I finished the eyebrow pencil, I started working on this. This is the Benefit Cabrow, and it's just a little sample. Um, I had already hit pan on this a while ago, and then I smushed it all down towards the bottom, so it was like, um, it's about half full, and then I actually hit the bottom of it again the other day, so I need to smush it, you won't be able to tell, I need to like smush it all back down again, but hopefully this will take, it'll probably take like two months to use this guy up. And then the foundation that I am putting in is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro, Gro Pro Glow Foundation. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the purple line. It's like right there. So that is about where we are starting. Um, this was new, but I've been using it for like the past week or two. And I was mixing this in that foundation and then I just switched to just using this. So there is that. And... I believe that that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this update. Um, still just going to keep working. I'm not rolling in a lot of stuff this time. Um, I just want to get some use on the last bits of what I have here. And then next time there will probably be a lot of new stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely like, comment, and subscribe for more. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.